Hey YouTube, we gotta talk about Horsetail's Emerald Valley Ranch, the newest horse game that dropped this month on Steam, PlayStation, and the Nintendo Switch. So after a week of playing, experiencing, and finishing the game, I felt the immediate need to make a review. This is probably my fifth attempt at making this review, so hopefully I can get my true feelings out there because my brain, ugh. I bought a copy of Horse Tales on both Steam and the Switch, and holy moly, the graphical difference between the two is like night and day. I know the Switch is considered the weakest platform for Horse Tales, but this is unacceptable. What was worse is that sometimes the game could get even blurrier after doing a random activity. Okay, enough with the platform rant. To sum up my thoughts on Horse Tales, the game suffers from two major problems. It's great when you find, do, and explore something for the first time, but the game has an identity crisis and terrible replayability. As in, after the shine and sparkle goes away, you realize the game is really repetitive and unrewarding. Let me explain. The marketing for Horse Tales promised players three main things. A story, exploration, and horses. The main story is 10 quests long. The game then kicks me in the shins with a really lame and half-hearted story that I really couldn't care much about. There are some other quests that you can pick up from NPCs or get in the mail, but again, most of them are just boring, or they ended up being tutorials. So clearly this game wasn't made for a deep and engaging story. The exploration element in this game is pretty great, especially when I was unlocking new areas to explore. I could tell the development team put a lot of effort into creating all these environments, navigating my horse through all the beautiful new biomes and finding new building materials to collect was always exciting. There's a good mix of open areas connected by narrow trails to visit while also exploring as well. If you're the kind of person who likes to just ride around and relax, then this may actually be a really great game for you. The map is big and beautiful and there are a lot of trails to choose from. But that big map is also going to be a big headache sometimes because all the rare foods and materials are found on the edge and the other side of the map, which means you gotta ride all the way over there and pray you find enough in one run. Because if you don't, you have to go all the way back home to sleep so that more materials pop up. This could have been solved with some unlockable slash buildable travel points, but this feature doesn't actually exist. The only fast travel option available is back to the main estate. Whilst exploring, you're also going to find boxes full of materials, foods, tack and clothes, which I really liked finding. These little rewards made me want to explore every inch of the map. But can we not have to dismount to open these if I can reach it on my horse? I kind of just want to pop it open and move on, not needlessly sit through a mounting animation. It's a horse game, let me do things with my horse. Speaking of horses, because that's why we all bought or want to buy this game, there are a number of things you can do with them in Horse Tales. There's taming, breeding, horse care, training, and racing. The one way to get new horses besides the starter is to tame wild horses out in the wild, since there's no currency and you actually can't buy anything. They appear in fixed locations, meaning wild horses are always going to appear in certain areas. Remembering these spots are important as well, because the areas they appear in also determine how many stats they'll have. Depending on you, this could be a good or bad thing. If it's bad, then I have some more bad news. The actual taming minigame is really lame. Just smash the directional buttons until it's tamed. Yeah. Of course, besides taming, you can breed new horses, and this is where the game really shines. Unlike other games where breeding is quite random, the parent horses and horse tails will pass their stats, personality traits, and coats down to their offspring. How much control you have over the resulting horse depends on the parents you pick. You're gonna love this, especially if you understand how horse genes work. One thing I want to point out is that breeding does get expensive, especially if you're aiming for a god tier horse with maxed out stats. 
which means food collection runs. If breeding is your thing, pick every carrot, sunflower, apple, sugar cube and peppermint in sight so that you're stocked up for when it's falling season. You got a new horse, so how is the horse caring system? I thought it was alright. You maintain your horses by brushing, washing, feeding and petting them. And honestly, I was sort of indifferent when I had to maintain my horses. The only care option I actually looked forward to was the washing station where I could hose off all the crusty stuff. But that was it. I'm a little disappointed that the care system wasn't fun enough to make me want to care for every horse I owned. In fact, sometimes I just skipped the care system entirely because I really couldn't be bothered to do it. The game doesn't really punish or reward you for doing or not doing the horse care. Yeah, there are some negative effects if my horse is fuzzy and crusty, but the constant need to brush my four-legged mud ball actually annoyed me after a while. If you like tiny details, each horse has a favourite petting style and food, so there's that. You get a little bonus for knowing them as well, and you can even jot it down on that horse's profile, which I find really unique. Ah, the training system. I'll be honest, I was disappointed. So in Horse Tales, if your horse is trainable in any way, you'll get a horse quest which you can check on in the menu. Now sadly, a lot of the training quests are really bland, most of them needing you to just ride your horse in a particular terrain they hate, or just riding them for a while to get their fitness up. And when the quest is done, they're suddenly cured or fixed. I was hoping for a more engaging training system where we could feel the horse getting better than at the end getting a nice little reward or you see a big upgrade. I never went out of my way to train a horse unless I really, really, really liked them and they had conflicting negative traits that I had to get rid of, which happened to a grand total of two horses in my case. Finally, let's talk about the racing system. So racing, when I first encountered it, was pretty fun. You have to run through the yellow hoops until you reach the end, jumping and ducking under obstacles along the way. They also give you multiple routes to take, which does add some level of variation. The whole point of racing was actually to earn fame, and you needed this to unlock plots on the estate to build on and to unlock the next story quest if you hadn't earned enough yet. So after I earned enough fame for my estate and finished the main story quests, I legitimately had no reason to race. There's a little trophy cabinet that shows you trophies and medals, but I think a lot of people are going to be in the same boat as me when I say that that wasn't even worth doing. And with so many tracks all around the map, I'm surprised the dev team didn't add more features to encourage racing. Especially when my mailbox gets bombarded with letters from my imaginary neighbours telling me they beat my time. Do I recommend Horsetail's Emerald Valley Ranch? Yes and no. Yes, if you want a game to relax with. Horsetails is a game that needs to be played really slowly to really be enjoyed. If you want to rush to the next thing, then I'm sorry, but you're going to run out of things to do really fast. And as for why I said no, I can't justify Horsetails current pricing. There just isn't enough stuff to do. I have a feeling the game was supposed to have more activities, but perhaps were cut out due to development time constraints or might be saved for a future DLC. This game was also launched with so many bugs and game breaking glitches that I thought I was playing an early access game. Don't get me wrong, this isn't my first video game that's launched with bugs and glitches, but let me say this has to be one of the worst cases I've seen in my entire life. If you're still keen to pick up Horse Tales Emerald Valley Ranch, I'd highly recommend waiting for at least a 50% discount, or picking up a secondhand copy if you're wanting a hard copy for console. I do hope one day I'll have to do a revised review of Horse Tales because this game had so much potential, but for now, let's wait and see what the developers decide to do.